I am Jowen Glastrum, First Warden and Supreme Commander of Weishaupt. I received word of your team's request for Grey Warden assistance after an incursion of the Blight at Demeter's Crossing. I looked into you. An adventurous veil jumper, best known for discovering, then losing, an invaluable map. I'd imagine that caused a certain resentment among your veil jumper superiors. The expedition was in trouble. I knew going back to help my fellow jumpers likely meant losing that map. I wanted that ancient knowledge, but I wouldn't risk lives for it. Explain to me how a veil jumper poking around in elven ruins unleashed the blight. We've been tracking a mage named Solus. He's actually several thousand years old. In elven mythology, he's known as Fenhorel, the Dreadwolf, God of Lies. That is a number of titles. Well, Fenhorel is elven for Dreadwolf, so that only counts as one, but uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Anyway, he wanted to tear down the veil and restore the ancient elven empire. We stopped his ritual. I did not come here to listen to fairy tales. I am here because of the blight. Right, but it all ties together. See, when we disrupted the ritual, Solus got trapped in the Fade. But two of the elven gods got out. Elganan and Gilanane, we think. And they're blighted. Why would elven gods be blighted? The ancient elven gods used the blight. That's why Solus imprisoned them. The point is that the gods are making the blight worse. The Meta's crossing was just the start. That's why we need the Grey Wardens. I suspected more politicking from the remnants of the Inquisition. I see now that I was wrong. I am really glad to hear that. It is clear that whatever you did to unleash the Blight has corrupted your already weak mind. Okay, wait. You will be taken to Weishaupt and placed under heavy guard until the danger you caused by unleashing the Blight passes. No. Please, you can't do that. I assure you, I can. I don't know how much time we have. The gods are doing something with the Blight. We need to stop them. Let me tell you something about the Blight. It is evil, it is implacable, and above all, it is predictable. The Blight has not changed in over a thousand years. The Grey Wardens will defeat it, as they always do. And we will do so without you causing confusion with your deranged conspiracy theories. I suggest you come along quietly. Adamant Fortress 941, Dragon. The Grey Wardens attempted to raise an army of demons. Hardly the models of good judgment yourselves, are you? Everyone knows Warden Commander Clarell acted alone at Adamant Fortress. Acted alone, you say? Imagine if everyone were to see the letter I discovered where you authorize her actions. I wonder how that might complicate the narrative. Are you prepared to risk the security of the Grey Wardens for this deluded boy? You may be surprised to learn that I care very little about the security of the Grey Wardens. Stay away from the Blight and do not pester the Grey Wardens with any more of your nonsense. He seems upset. Was it something I said? That Grey Warden was a total dickwad. That was close. Wasn't looking forward to being dragged off to a Grey Warden dungeon. Who should I be thanking for the assist? Magister Dorian Parvis, at your service. A mutual friend thought you might require some support. Mavaris Talani? Of the Shadow Dragons? The very same. What's your relation to the Shadow Dragons? About a decade ago, Mayvaris and I started a political faction called the Lucerni. We were going to change to Winter for the better. Everyone would recognize the common sense benefits of our approach, and we'd all live happily ever after. I take it that didn't happen. Mayvaris was framed, kicked out of the Magisterium, and the Lucerni were dissolved. So she took the movement underground. The Shadow Dragons. Since I still haunt the Magisterium, that makes me the Shadow Dragon's man on the inside. I think we made an enemy of the First Warden today. 
Well, more you than me. He just thinks I'm a dangerous idiot. Ha! Enemy. I've ignored greater men. No great warden worth the name sits in a Menrathus lounge sipping wine. You need the wardens? Look for the ones out there fighting the blight. In the meantime, the Shadow Dragons will keep a close watch on the Venatori. Good luck. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Dorian! Oh my god, that's so cool. Only the veil stood between us and a world of blighted darkness. But on this side, the gods could only tap a trickle. They had to turn that trickle into a flood. They sure could have used Solus's dagger to rip open the Fade. But some foolish mortal had taken it. So, they'd have to create a dagger of their own. Drowning the world in blight was just a matter of time. I need to talk to Varric. Got a new codex. Every warden's journey, there's the joining and the calling, the beginning and the end. Every great warden gets there first. They drink the potion of archdemon blood, laced with more magic than they know. If they survive, they'll sense the darkspawn, hear the blight song. The blight itself won't hurt so much. They'll be forever changed. I was forever changed. Not everyone survives the joining. They end at the beginning. Others end in battle. They're killed by the dark spawn, or maybe some monster kills them. We go to sunless and forsaken places. We fight what would devour Thetis, and we don't always return. I've survived all those battles myself. It makes me no better than anyone else. Finally, there's the calling, and that is the end, no matter how far you come. After the joining, the blight won't hurt so much, but it's still inside you, and in the end, it still wins out. The blight's song, the one you can only hear because you're a warden, starts to change. It starts to call you. At first, you can ignore it, and then one day, you can't, because you're changing. At first, you can't see it, but then you can, in the veins, in your arms, the circles under your eyes. So you leave. You find the biggest batch of darkspawn you can, and you take down as many as you can before the blight takes you. You leave the world a little safer. The other wardens will tell you that you'll know when the time comes, that you'll be certain when it's real. But they haven't heard the calling yet, and you wonder if it's really true, if you'll really know. You will. I do. I've got my spot in the deep roads picked out, Take care of yourself. A page torn from Warden Aaron's journal, left for Warden Theo. So sad. I know I've been playing this game for like 10 hours now, but it feels like we've barely scratched the surface. And I don't want it to end, so can you be like 150 to 200 hours, please, of like main story plot? There you are. I haven't seen much of you lately. I was getting worried. Everything all right? Wait. That dagger? I've seen it before. Solus was using it at the ritual site. No, uh, before that. Shit, it can't be. Look at it, Rook. I have. Plenty, ever since it hurt Harding. Remember that story I told you? About me and Hawk, Meredith and Orsino? How the trouble started in Kirkwall? On our expedition to the Deep Roads, that's what we found. That's what my brother tried to kill us for. An idol made of red lyrium. That sang a song which drove anyone who heard it mad. Are you sure it's the same thing? Oh, look at it. It's changed, but it's the same size. Same ring at the top. Not to mention, it's pure lyrium. No one. Not even the dwarves in Orzammar work pure lyrium like that. It's too dangerous. If that's true, if this dagger is the red lyrium idol from your story, how 
How did Solus cleanse it of the blight? I, I have no idea. I can't believe you found it. Oh, hey, Rook. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? You seem a little more comfortable with your new abilities. How are you feeling? Things are weird, but I'm adjusting, I think. That's not what I came in here for, though. All right, Harding. What's on your mind? So, the Wardens. I know some. A married couple Varric and I met while we were tracking Solus. I'd almost forgot about that. I really am getting too old for this shit. You think they'll talk to us? After the first Warden and everything? It's worth a try? I can write them and hope. Okay. Let's see who's in our corner. How are you holding up, Rook? I'm here if you need me. Is that an open invitation to talk to you? Because right now, you're not talkable. So that is very misleading. Okay, so meet Harding's Warden contact. Find the alluvian that leads to the High Anderfels. <gasps> New location. I cold. I felt it the moment the boat docked. That's the fade going right to your bones. Yikes. Yep, there's someone Dust to fight. Boy. Let's clear them out. Ah, oh, crap. I did not mean to use that ability already. Oh, you little biatch. No, no, no. Oh. Aw, oh, man. Oh, I missed. He missed my arrow, but I did not block in time. Yeah, I got it. Got time. us from a distance. There we go. If the dark spawn are here, the blight on this island must be running wild. Then we'll just have to deal with it. Do Templars really not have authority over mages in Tevinter? What happens if there's blood magic? What do they do? Depends on the Templar. Depends on who's bought their loyalty. What do you do when the authorities can't be trusted and to do the right thing? Also. That's how I keep busy. Wow, Rook. You totally interrupted their conversation. I'm really upset about that. I keep expecting one of the floorboards to break. Let's not linger here. Yes, agreed. Agreed indeed. What's this? What's this? It looks like an entryway. Oh, well, I guess we're not going in there yet. Oh, there's the Alluvion. We're going to a new world, y'all. So exciting! Wardens Evka and Antoine answered our letter. They're willing to talk. In the middle of nowhere? Where the first warden won't notice. But if they don't listen. <sighs> Your distraction worked. Could have said it when we were farther away. Dizuli, I didn't say it was a good plan. Ah, you made it! Arding, we meet again. Antoine, Evka, you look well. And you must be Rook. Heard some colorful things about you. I know, but you showed up anyway. Well, your letter was... desperate. Uh... Harding? What? Aren't we desperate? Let's hear what you've got to say. The elven gods are changing the blight. Darkspawn too. There was a village, Demeta's Crossing. They overran it with the blight in a snap. We saw the aftermath. Whatever they're planning, it's bad. And if it involves the blight, we need warden help. A change? Manipulation. That could explain. But... Uh, you believe me? That the elven gods are here and... It's, it's a lot to accept, but we've been looking into oddities with the Blight ourselves. It's altered. I can feel it. 
and your story, a lot lines up. Whatever you've heard from the First Warden, we're trying to help. Yeah, we're getting that. If the First Warden believes that village was an aberration, or that it did not happen as you say... We're not exactly the First Warden's favorites. Your word and our theories won't win the whole order. So what do we do? If the Darkspawn are changing, Davern might help. Even among Wardens, he's known as a monster hunter. He got pulled on a mission. Not sure what, but it's farther into the mountains. We can get you a rough location. I married someone with good advice. You find Davrin, and we'll keep after the Blight. Thank you. Both of you. You can thank us if this works out. Travel safely. We'll be in touch. So we found the camp. So did some darkspawn, looks like. The fire's still going. Were they ambushed? I'll be damned. A griffin. <coughs> Trouble is, he's not sure what you are. Neither am I. Rook, Evka and Antoine sent us. We're looking for Davrin. You found him. Mind telling me why you smell like Darkspawn? Griffins hunt Darkspawn. We don't smell that bad. It's the ten. Blight? Where are Lancet and Remy? The camp was empty when we got here. Hassan, to the trees! We can help. Try to keep up. He's caught a scent. Follow the squawks. I thought griffins were extinct. We want the world to think that. It's why we're training in the middle of nowhere. Hassan, don't get too far ahead. That kind of sounded like a no. If he even listens, has a mind of his own. <laughs> he spotted something. Darkspawn. Dead Darkspawn. These are part of the training. Hassan was half right? There's no time for half wrong. Hassan, we're looking for live Darkspawn. He understands. Not sure he understands anything but dinner. Keep on it, Hassan. They're around here somewhere. <laughs> Again, almost falling. Jeez Louise. Tightly rolled note. We scurried the Weishaupt libraries and found nothing useful for training griffins. The archivist said all griffin texts were lost or destroyed over time, which means Remy and I are starting from scratch. We'll approach this like a falconer would and hope griffin instincts are the same. Where's our buddy? How do we get up that? The Griffins have been training for this sort of thing. Let's see if Hassan was paying attention. Tap. Alright. Oh. 
Hassan, hit that! Oh. That's impressive. You teach him that? No, Lancet and Remy did. They're the Griffin Whisperers. So you're the bodyguard? Griffins are the Warden's greatest legacy. Someone has to protect them. Ooh, new area unlocked. I'll take this, though. Beautiful. Oh. Hold up, hold up. There we go. Now let's go back over this way. Where's our buddy? I can't see him in the sky. Hold up. There's the dark spawn. Oh, yeah. Let's get in there. I hate fighting dark spawn. Something in me just recoils from them. That's why it's a job for professionals. Harding is a pro. Don't even. There's a dark spot on the other side, yo. What are you doing? Where are you hurt? Uh, everywhere. The monster came out of nowhere. Darkspawn were following it. Lance, it ran ahead. It's back? Davrin, remember. A light touch. Asan's still learning. You're the trainer. Not anymore. have to keep going. Let's get through here. Those two statues are the spare key. Line up the symbols. What did you mean by it's back? Something stalking Grey Wardens. We call it the Gloom Howler. I'm hunting it. Started happening seven, eight months ago. Darkspawn obey it. There's some kind of hold over them. Oh, that's so sad. Poor Remy. On the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my bad. Oh. I mean, I'm guessing you have to point them at the door. I could be wrong. Ah, oh, crap, I'm wrong. So what are you supposed to do? Oh, at the Griffin, maybe. That makes way more sense. Hassan, on me! Where is the sun? There. No time for hide and seek, Hassan. This is real. Hassan, that's Elvin Ferrara. Elby grows into it. More darkspawn here. Lancet's trying to stop the Gloomhower. It's going after the other Griffins. There are other. The bridge is out. This place is falling apart. There's a ladder up there. That's our way through this. Oh. Okay. 
Well, how do we get up there? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> how on earth do we get up? Oh, tab. Yes. Valid. Good job. Yes, good job indeed. Watch out, Rook. Dark spawn. Make this quick. We have to get through here. Hassan can help with the fight. Ah, I, I, I forgot to block, but I managed to not get hit both times. Ah! Oh, I actually meant to block that time, but I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, well. There we go. Blocked it that time. Is there a reason you people are not helping me? It's okay. I'm working on my skills. It's all good. Okay, let me just go closer since you guys are literally doing nothing. Watch out, one more to go. Big one. I see it. Okay, I see it too. And it's gonna die very quickly. You watch. Ready? Come on, come on. Number oops, it's not what I meant to do. Four. There you go. That's how you take care of business. What was that? It's coming from the area. There's an elevator we can use to get up there. Okay, will do. We'll use the elevator to get up there once I have a chance to loot everything. Because again, we all know I like to steal. Okay, nothing crazy valuable. Hmm. I wonder if I could... The elevator's behind that blight. Let's get through it. Yes, 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 I know. But again, gonna do a little Snoopy Snoop. That's all. That's all. There's gotta be something up here. Why would they put a ladder up here? Yeah, see? It's Grey Warden's trying to... Have me missing all my lootable items. Oh, I see I have another one over here. Here we are. Never seen Dark Spawn this bold. Not unless there's a blight. There's a blight. The wardens told you this? I told them that your first warden doesn't want our help. He's a stubborn one. Why does the Gloomhaller want the Griffins? The real question's how it knows about them. Up until now, it only went after Wardens. Now it shows up here with a rabble of Darkspawn? These Griffins are a secret. These Griffins are cuties. That's what they are. Weathered Inscription. Cookie Tail. Courageous Warrior. Slayer of Archdemon Anderal. And beloved friend of Garhel. I like how the music's just gotten a little bit more intense.
Under the blight boil. We better take a look. Damn it, it's Lancet. I want this thing's head on a pike. Is that your other friend that's dead or something? Oh no. Bloodstained notes. Training going well. The Griffins learn faster together. One picks up a trick, then the others try it out. How loud they get, the little mischief makers. They're also going faster than I thought. I'll ask Darwin too. The rest is illegible. No, what's sad. Okay, let's go. Kill this damn blight. What is that? Meet the gloom howl. Exploding dark spawn? What is this? Like I said, this blight's different. Everything's wrong. I can hear the other Griffins. Let's get in there. Okay, we will. But first, I need to loot. There they are. Hi, Griffin. Hi. We're gonna save you, okay? More Griffins. We have to get them out of there. Can't. Some kind of blood magic on these locks. Oh shit. It's okay, Highness. Calm down. You two, Rumtail. We'll come back for both of you. Yes, we will. I promise. By indeed killing Griffins. Don't like that. Oh crap. Frenzied Ogre. That's fine. We'll deal with him. Oh, shoot. That is not good news for me. Oh, wow. He's dead already? Yellow, you want. You're not taking these Griffins. I'll be back for you. They're up there. Don't worry, Vita. We'll get you out. And what the hell is that? Yikes. can talk. I'll spill mine before that happens. And I'll collect, Warden, on both of you. Leave these animals alone. They aren't yours. They've always belonged to me. No! 
No. Mortal threats are a dull blade. No! There are only 13 griffins alive in Thetis. That monster just took 12 of them. What if we could help get them back? I'd ask. What's the catch? I need a monster hunter. For the blight to end all blights. The first warden agreed to this? The first warden is wasting time treating this like any other blight. We can't wait for him to take action. Going against Weishaupt's orders? I don't have a choice. There are powerful mages behind all this, and we have to hunt them down. Well, you did save Asan back there, so you're no lightweight. And if you can help get the other griffins back... <coughs> he likes the idea? He's hoping you brought food. All right. Come on, Asan. Let's get to know our new friends. Quest complete, a Warden's best friend! While seeking an ally in the Great Wardens, the team met Davrin and his young griffin, Asan. But disaster struck when a terrifying monster, the Gloom Howler, stormed the griffin Airy and kidnapped Asan's brother and sisters. Davrin agreed to join the team on the condition they continue to hunt the Gloom Howler and rescue the missing griffins. Oh, we are totally doing that! We are totally doing that! So this is where you live, huh? In the Fade? Yeah, it's cozy. And the gods can't find us here. Right. Never going to get used to that. We'll find you and Asana nice. What's wrong? Everything's wrong. Treviso and Minrathis are both under attack. Blighted dragons. Two of them. One for each city. Damn it. So the dragon at Demetis Crossing wasn't the only one. You got back just in time. Then grab your gear and let's go. Go where? We cannot be in two places at once. Treviso's a merchant city. It has no defenses, and the canals run everywhere. If we don't stop that dragon, people will die. Innocent people. My people. They either die right away from the dragon, or slowly after, from blight in the water. We need to go to Treviso. And leave Minrathus to burn? Nev. The Shadow Dragons will fight, right to the end of it. But we're the only ones keeping the Venatori in check. And if we fail, the Venatori will take advantage. They'll make a push for the throne. And hand the gods the entire Tevinter Empire. Have we been able to- Damn it! There's no time! I need to go home. I need to be in Minrathus. And I must go to Treviso. Go where you feel you must, Rook. We cannot wait. Ugh. What's our move, Rook? Well, I'm sorry, but I gotta help Minrathus. We help Nev in Minrathus. But the Treviso civilians! Yeah, I know. I don't like it either. But if the Venatori take control of Tevinter, it's going to get a whole lot worse. That said, two of you should go to Treviso. See if you can help Lacanis get the civilians to safety. And we'll head to Minrathus. Understood. Let's all try to make it through this alive, all right? Well, I mean, my mouse just popped up right over Davrin, so I'm thinking that that's the person that we should take. Oh, he seems pretty happy about that. <laughs> okay, well, let's let's go. I trust Harding and Bolera to help Lucanus anyway. Dragon circling meander all his grounds. Gotta hurry. Watch out! I was expecting it to be bad, but no time to waste. We need to find them.
They I mean to it. stop us. Your lord demands death. Boom. Oh yeah. The faithful cannot die. I know we're in a hurry and all, but like, you know, I still need to loot. It's an addiction. got some items here. Perfect for me because I'm a thief, as we all know. Oh. Yes, you're right. We do have to stop it. So let's get to it, shall we? turned up. We could use the help. The dragon's tearing up the city, and the Venatori are taking advantage of the chaos to seize control. I've heard they've made it all the way to the Archon's palace. Forget the Venatori for now. We need to stop the dragon. We can't fight it while it's flying. We need to ground it. If we can keep it here, we can stop it from destroying the city. All right. Let's see if I can get its attention. Damn straight. Let's go. Alright, let's see. Um, sorry, I see something that I need to now pick up, and now I've distracted. That's how it works, though, right? Yeah, I think that's all there is. Okay, good. Okay, let's go get these stupid. What are these? Are these the Venatori? Oh, the... Whatever these are. Venatori. I think they're Venatori. They did. Wow. I made quick work of them. Servants of the Dreadwolf. Get a name. We need only one thing from you. Surrender it, and you may go. Give up the Dreadwolf's dagger. Come get it. By force, then. Whatever remains of you will become my new creations. Well, we'll see about that. She's blighted. There's a strange feeling to her. The gods oh, corrupted shoot. her. Right. Yeah, that, that did not go well for me. We oh, shoot. What we came to do. Come on. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Okay. So far, not going great. Not going great. Not going great at all. Nope, nope. Not at all. Come on. Get out of here. Oh, shoot. Can I, like, fade step, please? Away from this dragon? Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Take it out. Go. Come on. Bye. Oh. 
Oh shoot. We have toyed with these mortals long enough. Your strength is needed elsewhere. Hear my voice and return. It's gone, but it's wounded. Gilanane will heal it. Then it'll come back stronger. If only we were faster. Or we'll figured out its weaknesses a little quicker. And we have to keep it grounded. Take the win. Dragon's still out there, but it could have been worse. It would have been worse if you weren't here. There's another dragon in Treviso. Maybe there's still time. Let's go. Hold on, Lucanis. We're on our way. We chased away the dragon in Minrathus. Did you kill the one? We did not. That monster flew around the city for hours before it left, utterly out of reach. It rained ice on the city and spread blight in the canals. Treviso survives for now, as do the crows, but... We came as quick as we could after Minrathus. There was little chance. However fast you came, the gods timed their invasion well. I thought it would be faster. I, I thought... Rook, you know Grey Wardens. Can they do anything about the Blighted Canals? Maybe not right away. They'll have their hands full with the gods. Just send them word. Please. We will not be idle. There are people to save and Antam to be made examples of. The city must know who did this. Give us time, Rook. If you truly wish to help, the crows will have work. The others, Nev, are they all right? They are. And I'm glad you're all right too, Lucanis. I... Rook, no more. Not after this. I don't have the heart for anything but helping my city and bringing down those who struck against her. On blighted wings, the dragon attacking Minrathus is fled, on Gilanane's command. Thanks to the team of efforts, disaster was averted. Treviso, on the other hand, suffered from the lack of assistance. Yikes! Oh no! Oh shoot. Okay, so Harding's bond recreate. Okay, everyone's bond increased, but I I'm worried to see Lucanus's. Yeah, it did nothing. Okay, yep, that's cool. Blighted dragons, darkspawn obeying the Venatori. Maybe Solas will know something. Okay, is there anything that we can do in Treviso to help? Like, anything at all? <gasps> oh my gosh. That would have been a quick death. Oh. Treviso was devastated by the god's dragon. After being imprisoned, Lucanus only recently got the city and the crows back in his life. He can't abandon them now. He'll need time before he returns to the lighthouse. I feel so bad, but I had to make a choice. And it was always going to be Nev, dude. It was always going to be Nev. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Davrin. Davrin has joined the team, ready and willing to fight against the gods. He'll bring his hunting skills and the powers of the Warden against all the dark spawn that inevitably follow a blight. With Davrin comes Asan, the only griffin not stolen by the terrible creature known as the Gloom Howler. Okay. Well completed i i think we completed everything we could yeah so i think that the next thing to do is to go back to the lighthouse yo we'll be back lucanus we'll be back we'll be back yeah oh, it's so sad but yeah there was no way i was uh gonna turn my back on my girl okay sorry no <laughs> no okay what do we got here oh a time sense of conversation manifestation Oh, workshop level three. Oh my gosh. And workshop level four. I have obviously not been checking in here. And it shows. Yes, it does. And I have like major upgrades to do. Holy crap, man. 
Holy effing crap. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do them right now, okay? I'm not gonna do them right now. I am going to go talk to Davrin. What? You're hungry? I found a yam in the kitchen. Stubborn just means you'll starve. Trouble settling in? Doing the best I can. My job was to keep the Griffins safe, not fix their dinner. I meant to son. Oh, <laughs> I guess we're both adjusting. Then where did Hassan and the others come from? Way I heard it. Someone found a journal a few years back that mentioned a secret clutch of eggs. They'd been hidden for centuries, protected by a ward. Started hatching and out came 13 talkative griffins. Now, down to just one. What's the history between Grey Wardens and Griffins? Back in the day, Grey Wardens raised them as aerial cavalry. When a blight got going, Wardens rode them into battle. Eventually, war took its toll. They died out. Well, a confused Griffin should fit right in around here. Appreciate it. There's no training manual for them anymore. I guess we'll figure it out together. <coughs> Griffins don't trust easily. Lancet and Remy had to work to win them over. They said a warden and a griffin have to move as one. Think as one. They call it Turlum. Sort of unity. But now, they're both dead. Why'd the Gloom Howler attack the Airy? I intend to find out. First it stalks wardens. Now it's after the griffins. Doesn't seem right that they go extinct twice. Not if I have anything to say about it. You sure you'll have time to help? You've got a lot on your plate. Elgernon and Gilanane. Hard to believe. Can't be easy hearing that your own gods are ending the world. Elves have enough trouble. Don't need this on our heads too. But I have to say, killing a monster is one thing. Taking down the goddess of all monsters and the god of vengeance while you're at it? I know. Our problem around here is we think too small. <laughs> okay then. Good to know the boss can laugh about it. Not really. But dwelling on things won't help. What? I told you. It's yams or nothing. Well, maybe you need a new menu. Aww, I love them. They're so cute. Do I have any more conversations? So it doesn't look like I have... Oh. Oh. Our buddy's gone. <laughs> Our companion left? Yeah, he's gone. Oops. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. And I haven't been in here, so let me just chase. Oh, there's your bed. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And, uh, let me take a look at my character. Ability damage goes down, though. Oh, that looks cool, though. You know, it might be time for a new look. Is this the strongest helmet? Yeah. Yeah, it's the strongest one. Okay, and then here. Oh, oh, that's better. This is definitely better. I don't really care about the rings. I feel like because I'm playing, <laughs> because I'm playing on such an easy uh, <laughs> um, mode, it's actually not that bad. You know, I feel like I probably should eventually upgrade to something that's a little bit more challenging. Oh, Belar doesn't have one. Okay, Davrin. Okay, so Davrin. Okay, yeah, you. and also I need to, like, make sure I set you up properly. Um, yeah, this is definitely better, but it's the wrong color. We'll fix that, like I said. Okay, back. And what's about your armor? Okay, that's all we got for your armor. Okay, and then points. We got ability points. That's right. Okay, let's do this, because I want the griffin to have some fun too and uh then we have harding oh we got a little trinket for you huh that's good oh and two talent points what harding okay so let's do one two 
Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and then Lucanus. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. So sorry. Oh, six ability points. Damn. What? Oh, obviously it didn't save properly because I was like, I've done this before for sure. Oh, wait, wait, what? Undo that. The strength of this skill is increased. Hardened. The strength of this skill is increased. Oh. Oh. Probably because I didn't choose his town. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That's really awkward. I'm sorry, dude. Um, all right, can you have the opposite of that to make me feel better about myself? No, of course not. That's great. That's just freaking great. Okay, so let's do this as well. Okay. Perfect. Skills for me. How many do I have? Two? Okay, so I'm thinking, what do I want? And uh, train him in Rathus. Yeah, probably something close to this. Okay, so let's do over here. Let's try to get closer to this one. What is this? Light attack damage. Oh, yeah, okay. That's good. That, that, that looks good. Supercharged. Upgrade projectile abilities. And what's this? Upgrade control abilities. Abilities now deal additional 150 damage. Six. Ooh, that's good. Okay, but what's this? Oh, you know what? Actually, I think passive abilities are better right now for me. I'm just still getting used to everything that I'm doing, so that's good for me. Also, we definitely have some codexes. Oh, yes, we have some codexes. The Grey Wardens. Okay, four codexes? Okay, let's read them. Wait, what is this? Did I read this? From Dav... I haven't read any of these. Why? Oh, wait, I read that one. Did I read this one? I don't think so. I've never seen Davrin's journal, so let me read them. From Davrin's journal, name me a griffin. There's one griffin, this little guy. Lancet and Remy hadn't given him a name yet. They wanted to wait for the griffin's personalities to emerge, and he was still finding his way. But I've spent some time with him, seeing what he can do. I've been watching Lancet put him through his paces in training. He's a little slow on the uptake, but he's fast in the air. He loves to jump right into the fire. There's a courage about him, a purity, I suggested we name him Asan. It's Dalish, roughly translates to arrow. It seems to suit him, and they agreed. So that's official. If I do nothing else in this life, at least I can say I got to name a griffin. From Davrin's journal, griffins are real. Like every Grey Warden, I've heard about griffins. The tall tales, the stories of legend, the role these animals once played in our history. And like every Grey Warden, I've wondered what they were really like. We've got statues of them all around, White Top, but that's not the same thing. Today, I actually met one. The first warden said I was being assigned to a secret project outside the Anderfells. I never imagined it would mean I'd meet real live Griffin. Lancet and Remy have gotten used to them, but the shock still hasn't worn off for me. Thirteen of them. Thirteen secret miracles we need to protect at all cost. I still don't understand how they came to be, but somehow, I'm part of it all now. Griffin training. My first week at the Airy, and I keep thinking that I'm sure glad Lanson and Remy are in charge of the training. These Griffins are a handful. A rolling, flying, screeching, always hungry ball of feathers and chaos that never stops squawking or pooping. The last one is no small thing. Thirteen Griffins all pooping here makes an incredible mess. Lancet just shrugs and says, why stop could use the fertilizer? Sure, as long as I'm not the one hauling it away. I'm here to guard these animals. I've tagged along on a few hunting runs against Lone Dark Spawn in case things get out of hand, and I admire Lancet and Remy's patience. It's going to be a while before these griffins are the warriors of old we've read so much about. Wysop. Joining up with Rook means I won't be going back to Wysop anytime soon. I doubt I'd be welcomed. Not if the First Warden caught wind of what I'm doing. I'll miss the old fortress. It's cold, damp, and drafty as a canyon, and so vast it takes months to get your bearings. But it's home to Grey Wardens, and it's the only home I've got. Wandering the massive libraries of books I'll never read, getting bruised and battered while sparring in the training yard, smelling the latrines in the summer, freezing in our bunks in the winter, it's all pretty miserable, yet just as exhilarating. Wysop is over 1,000 years old. Its armies have fought and won blights, and its banners have never fallen. 
It's the beacon in the darkness that keeps evil at bay. Thetis would be a world of ruins without its protection. The Gloom Howler, Part 1. It's my first week post at the Griffinary. Whatever stalking Grey Wardens isn't human, or a dwarf, or an elf, or anything I've heard of before. Whatever this monster is, it's smart enough to target Wardens. It's always killed members of our order. And now our commanders are worried it's going to strike at the Airy. We have to stop this thing before it does more damage. I've been told if the Airy is attacked, protecting the Griffins is my first priority. We can't lose these animals again. If we can draw the Gloom Howler out, even if we don't kill it, I'm hoping we'll have a trail to follow. Well, that's it for those. It's been a while since I did a World of Thetis one. You know, I'm thinking I probably should. The Grey Wardens. Okay, maybe I'll do this one. The Blight had ravaged the land for months. The armies of great kings amassed for one last stand. As the sun burst through the clouds that boiled and churned in the dark sky, it illuminated a vast seething horde of darkspawn with the archdemon at its head. It was then, when courage seemed to fail and all lost to death and despair, that the Grey Wardens came. They arrived with the beating of wings like mighty war drums and stood before the armies of men. The Grey Wardens, grim and fearless, marched forth ever between men and the encroaching Darkspawn. They formed a shield of their own bodies and held that line until the Archdemon was dead and the last Darkspawn lay trampled in the dirt. Then demanding neither reward nor recognition for their sacrifice, the Grey Wardens departed. When the clouds rolled back and the sun shone full upon the blighted ground, the great kings knew that they had lost no men, that none of their blood had spilled. This is a tale about no battle the Grey Wardens have fought and yet about them all. They have always defended us from the Darkspawn, taking losses so we do not have to. Adaptation of a Grey Warden Legend the tale outlined above is wildly told. Although subject to regional variations, free marchers might substitute great kings for titles bestowed in their given city-states. In Ferelden, the implied army of wardens is sometimes replaced with two representatives of national heroes who fought and defeated the archdemon at Denerim during the Fifth Blight. The beating of wings is a reference to the griffins the warden said to have ridden into battle. Although griffins went extinct long before the recent blight, they still appear in numerous stories, sometimes serving as a metaphor for the warden's unstrained courage, but also employed to please an eager audience from Tales of the Wardens by Sister Manon. Okay. All right, we did it. We got through those. And now I think it's time to go and talk to Solus. But before I do, I'm just gonna do a quick loop, uh, make sure that I run by everybody just in case they say anything fun and interesting that I wanna hear. Like these two right here. Have your dreams been strange since you got here? My dreams have been strange. But is that the Fade or the Lighthouse or... Maybe I think they should be different here. Am I causing this? If you're waiting on an answer, I don't have one handy. Oh, we should start dream journals. <laughs> I love her so freaking much. It's ridiculous. Lara is just the cutest person ever. Okay, and then we have our girl. Where is she at? Oh, where there you are. Look at all those green leaves. You've really brought this place to life. Amazing what a little weeding and water can do. They're growing so fast, too. Even the ones I haven't tended. Maybe they just needed someone to... remind them? Aw, so cute. Okay, and now I'm going to go talk to or walk by Varric. I doubt that he'll have anything crazy to say. But you know what? It's always good to hear from Varric. Don't panic. Things always seem impossible. Just fight one battle at a time. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my room because I want to see if I have any new wardrobe stuff. Okay, so let's go here. Uh, I didn't really unlock any new outfits, that sucks. I mean, that is a cool, it's it's cool. It's a different color variation of, of uh, the same kind of outfits that I was wearing. 
And I'm thinking maybe this could be like the start of something new. You know what I mean? And oh my gosh, I just thought of High School Musical Man. Uh, but I don't know. I kind of love my outfit too. Oh, I need to do Davrin's. Hold on. Yes, you need, I think it was this one, right? This was your, yeah, that was your, let's do that. Back, yes, save the change, override that. And then this is a beautiful shield, so we'll let you keep the shield. Yeah. And finally, take a look at that. Oh no, definitely that one. But I have to be honest with you, I love Nev's new outfits, it's crazy. When last we spoke, you intended to assault the cruel and the corrupt in hopes of finding servants of Algernon and Gelenain. Has your search been successful? You could say that. It looks like both the Venatori and the Antam are working for Algernon and Gelenain. Unsurprising. The Venatori want magical secrets, and the Antam want to destroy anyone opposing their brutal expansion. Both will readily bow to anyone who promises them power. And they're using that power to hurt a lot of people. The Antam and the Venatori both have dragons doing their bidding. Dragons? That is worse than I had feared. Yeah. We drove off the one the Venatori brought into Minrathus. Barely. Have you determined how the dragons are being directed? If it is blood magic, it may be possible to disrupt their control. The dragons were blighted. We think that's what let the gods control them. The blight. Of course. The Blight seems to be the gods' favorite tool right now. We ran into Venatori who could control Darkspawn. Algernon would not bestow such power unless the Darkspawn were to serve as the main force of his army. And I suspect Gilanane will see the Darkspawn as new subjects for her... modifications. We've already run into a few Darkspawn nobody has seen before. That's in addition to the Blighted Dragons. That is the fate Algernon and Gilanane planned for this world then. Corruption and blighted slavery. Right. Everyone should be free and uncorrupted when your demons and raw magic kill them. Do you truly believe my goal was to destroy this world? I believe your goal, like you said, was to transfer the gods to a better prison. The one you're stuck in now. And you were willing to tear down the veil and destroy this world while you did so. The Veil is a wound I cut into the Fade in a moment of desperation. While making their prison, it should not exist. I had a host of spirits ready to help when the Veil fell. They would have minimized the loss of life. So best guess, how many deaths? Hundreds? Thousands? At least. Those deaths would have been on my conscience. But the world would once again be as it should be. Oh, and here I was, worried. Many would have died, I know. But afterward, flowers would grow again. Spoken like a god. I am not a god. I am as I have always been. A man. All too aware of his failings. But equally aware that if he did not act, accepting the judgment it would bring, all would be lost. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? I've got enough problems right now as it is. That's one for future Rook to deal with. Pragmatism. You will focus on the present, knowing that someday you will face the consequences of your choices. I believe I can work with that. If the gods are using dragons, you will wish to find someone trained to fight them. Have you unlocked the Lighthouse Alluvian? Yes. We found the crossroads. It's still confusing, though. I cannot help you from in here. You may need to find an expert in the magic of the Fade. And if the Darkspawn are to be Elganon's army, you will need Grey Wardens to fight them. I've got a few of them. Their leaders don't trust me right now, though. I have faith in you, Rook. You seem to have a knack for gaining the cooperation of your adversaries. Solas thinks we need a dragon hunter and a fade expert. 
He's right, about the Dragon Hunter at least. Rook, when I was with the Inquisition, I saw some terrible things. But what happened to Treviso? I mean, so much death. Lucanus stayed behind. He said he'll be back soon, but at least you took care of yours. We hurt it, but didn't kill it. The dragon flew off before we could put it down. A dragon hunter would have helped him in Rathus, that's for sure. <sighs> Don't remind me. Fewer people injured and we wouldn't have to worry about it coming back. We can't forget the second dragon in Treviso. We should see how we can help, but... We're without Lucanus until he's done helping the crows. Who knows how long? Hey, let's not get stuck in our regrets, all right? Just so we're clear, you're taking advice from this elven god, Solus. The Solus who tried to tear down the veil? You really trust him? He's been right about a lot of things. He knows how Elganon and Gilanane work. We need him. As long as you're sure. So, a Fade Expert and a Dragon Hunter. I'll ask around about Dragon Hunters and see what turns up. Come talk to me in a bit. And I've been corresponding with someone about the Lighthouse's reverberative oscillations and the resulting dimensional peculiarities. Oh, sorry. Not relevant. I'll get a message through to a Fade Expert immediately. <laughs> see, Rook? Nothing to worry about. All right. We all know what to do. Let's get going. Can I see that we have a special quest with Dar Davrin? Sorry, Davrin. I keep calling him Darwin. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, so let's uh, do that special quest. Let me just walk by Nev because, you know, she's our girl. I love her so much. I want to see if her office has changed again, too. Nah, it's the same. But you're looking fabulous. If that dragon had taken Mimrathus... I hate to think what the Venatori might do with that sort of chaos. A lot of people are alive. A lot of people have a chance, thanks to us. But we broke Lucanus out of the ossuary. He could finally go home, and now... What happens to Treviso now? I know. I feel so bad about that, Nev. Thanks for reminding me again. Really great. Really, really great. Oh, hey, buddy. What? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. That is freaking adorable. Oh, okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, he's such a cutie. What's his name again? Asan? Hi there, boy. Oh, there we go. There's what I was looking for. I was like, are you going to talk to him? So cute. Okay, let's go. Hey, Davrin. Rook, I was thinking of taking Hassan for a walk. He could use the exercise. Chance to stretch his wings. Thought you'd like to come along. Oh yeah, I definitely want to do that. Let's do that one first because I just think it's going to be a quick mission, you know what I mean? Plus, I want to get to know this guy, you know? I'm still looking for my potential boyfriend and uh, he could be the one. Maybe it's Davrin. Let's take you and Ballara, because she's a veil jumper. She can see her friends, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm getting so much better at this game, and I'm really excited about that. I'm getting way more confident. That's why I think I'm going to increase the difficulty level, which is crazy. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? We're going to do it. I am going to do something I never do. Keep her. That's it. Okay, I'm going to... I Hold on. Aim assist. I still want it high. <laughs> What's this? Exploration preset. Okay, directed, always, far, always, yeah. But combat, aim assist. Okay, hold on, can I go to, is there, is there like a combat control? Oh, advanced combat, yeah. Okay, enemy damage, let's do, oh, you know what, actually? Yeah, okay, let's do standard damage, standard health, enemy aggression is standard. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm doing this. <laughs> um, combat timing forgiving. Adjust the timing windows for executing dodge, parry, and yeah, yeah, let's do that. I need forgiving. Melee threat indicator on. Okay. So yeah. Okay, so th I've, there you go. I've increased the damage to standard, y'all. 
what the hell is going on? I have no idea what's happening. I am so proud of myself for trying something different. It's crazy. I'm crazy. It's probably gonna go really badly. I'm gonna die a bunch of times, but you know what though, it's fine. How to train a griffin. Explore the forest. Meet Davrin at the location marked in Arlathon. Davrin wants to take his son on an outing to stretch his wings. And I think that's a great idea. So let's do it. Let's get going. I've been thinking. Lancet and Remy used special food to train the griffins. Said it was the fastest way to start a bond. Right. The... what do you call it? Tell him? That's it. And ginger wart truffles were the griffins' favorite treats. They grow around ruins. We're going to teach Asan how to find some. I think that's a great idea. Let's go, Asan. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. I assume I'm following him. Search for truffles. Well, I've picked up a few of these, so I should know what they look like. Oh, I'll take some of that. Usually there's truffles by these nugs, but I don't see anything there now. Oh, have, we haven't been here before. <gasps> We're entering a new area. How did you end up with the Grey Wardens? Grew up in a Dalish clan. I hear all these stories about things that happened thousands of years ago. The Dalish do love their history. Except I wanted to make history. Didn't fit in. Got bored, so I went looking for adventure. How'd that go over with your clan? Poorly. They felt like I rejected them. Did you? Yeah, I suppose. Clan life wasn't for me. I had to get away. So then what happened? You're out in the world looking for adventure? Caught my ass kicked. Went broke. I couldn't go crawling back to my clan of failure. I doubt they'd take me back. It forced me to figure out what I was good at. Always had a knack for hunting. Hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. A beautiful waterfall right there. Can we go swimming? Oh wait, I can't because I'm gonna drown. Oh, look a nug. What are you doing? That's not a truffle. That's a nug. You'll get fleas. <laughs> At least he's having fun. Truth is, purrs when you scratch him. Maybe we can speed things up by helping him. Let's search the bushes. Look around for truffles. Okay. Like, where? <laughs> Back to me being clueless, y'all. Oh, yay. This is fun times. Like, the, like over here? Oh. Oh, that's not it at all. No. Like, oh, okay, here. Oh, there's a thorn. Keep looking. Okay. Over here, yeah. That's what I thought. Nug droppings. Yuck. The nugs pretty much own Arlithan Forest. Yeah, but they also know where the truffles are. Okay. Me over here. Aha! Nope. This is harder than it looks. It's fleas, isn't it? What'd I tell you? Actually, I think it's a truffle. Huh. Maybe the nugs like truffles. Could Hassan know that if you follow them, you might find truffles? Are you really that smart, boy? <coughs> Seems pretty clever to me. <coughs> if only you'd be clever enough to listen. Well, you're still getting to know each other. Remember? Tell them. <sighs> Remy was probably right. Remember how she said he needed a lighter touch? If I go soft on him, the world would chew him up. Let's give you both a chance and see if we can find any more of these. <laughs> okay, I'm loving this. How? Find some nugs, see what happens. So, how did you go from hunter to slayer of monsters? Uncle Eldrin. An old elf I knew growing up. When I was a kid, I'd hunt just about anything. Rabbits, deer, fox. Eldrin gave that purpose. 
taught me the way of three trees. The way of the arrow, the way of the bow, the way of the wood. That sounds noble. Eldrin taught me to hunt the unnatural so the natural can thrive. Be a force for good. Besides, it was either that or starve. Monsters paid good coin. But why become a Grey Warden? If you were making money on your own? I didn't leave my clan to get rich. Had to prove it was all worth something. I needed a cause. There must be easier causes than fighting Darkspawn all your life. Darkness is a sparring partner. The greater the shadow you confront, the stronger you are for winning. Till you meet one you can't beat? Haven't yet. Okay, I, I love this because I freaking am obsessed with animals. This is ridiculously cute. Oh, wait. Is it? Oh, it's actually up this way. I thought it was going to be through there. I was trying to get the material. Where are we going? Yeah, this is... Oh, there's another nug. He's such a smarty pants. A bunch of nugs. I think Hassan's got something. Why don't you take a look? I'll be damned. Follow the Nugs. Like I said, he's a clever one. Might make a tracker out of you yet. Hungry? <sighs> what? It's ginger wart. Eat it. Remember? Light touch. I mean... Mmm, it's dessert fit for a prince. See? He'll be fine. He just has a strong spirit. Let him grow into it. Might not have time for that. With Lancet and Remy gone, if something happens to me, he'll have to stand on his own. So don't let anything happen to you. I'm a Grey Warden. Death's around every corner. Not that I don't enjoy punching it squarely in the face. I like that confidence. That's how you win. It's not all about winning. Sometimes I enjoy the pursuit too. Ah, uh, the thrill of the chase. Okay, boy. That's enough for one day. But he's having fun. He overeats, and you'll find out how fun Griffin puke is. Son, you heard him. Let's go. Oh, I loved that. Quest complete. How to train a griffin. Davrin has finally found food. Asan enjoys eating. Ginger wart truffles. In hunting for the elusive treat, Davrin gained new understanding of Asan's intelligence, and both Warden and Griffin bonded a little more during their forest excursion. And we did too. Which is pretty cool. And I see a chest over here that has my name on it. So let me just go open it right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I leveled up too. Damn. Gosh, I'm so good. So damn good. Okay, so that was adorable because I love animals. Like I said. Oh, shoot. Codex. Oh, shoot. We have quite a few. Okay, Beyond the Veil. A map in a hand unused to paper. This terror was trembling and palpable. Land as empty as the new void in us that ceases the spirit and makes us suddenly meet. Okay. Okay, that's the only one there. Miscellaneous. Okay, we have this one right here. Letter from Solus to Gilanane. I have seen your creatures. Some are beautiful, some are horrific, but all are brilliant. I can understand how such incredible achievements could make one feel like a god. Perhaps that explains the terror you have caused, and the transformations wrought upon those unable to defend themselves. But you must know that you are not a god. You are a mage, and a title from the Evanuris cannot alter that. If anything, joining the ranks will bind you to their political will. You could make creatures to protect our people from the Evanuris. Why debase yourself and threaten our people by joining them? Of course I know why. I hope you gain peace with Andril. You would not be the first to sacrifice your morals for love. Is that the only one? Yeah. Okay, Grey Warden. Oh, we have three more Grey Warden ones. From Davern's Journal. Ginger Wart Truffles. I don't know why a half-eagle, half-lion likes truffles, but griffins can't resist them. Asan's brothers and sisters all went wild for them, and now Asan is carrying on the family tradition. I asked Harding what's so special about them. She didn't know. 
So we did what any good mage or alchemist does. We both tried a nibble. The taste of ginger was overwhelming. It's too much, yet Asan gulps them down. I guess it's like broccoli. Some people love it, but those with working taste buds avoid it. I'm offended. I love broccoli, okay? Emrich muttered something about brewing it as a tea to enhance any magical properties, but I'm not in a hurry. As long as the ginger wort keeps Asan happy, I won't question the reasons why. My younger days. Hunting for truffles turned out to be a chance to get to know Rook better. It's also got me thinking about my younger days and how I haven't spoken to my clan in a long time. They didn't understand why I wanted something more than the traditional Dalish life. I guess I was stubborn and bullheaded and figured I'd go show them as I ventured off to find my fortune. Since then, I've kept my distance. That's on me. Maybe I've been feeling guilty, I don't know. But I do know I miss Uncle Eldrin. Talking about him with Rook got me thinking about my days as a kid in Arlathan Forest. Racing Aravels in the forest, following hidden Dalish trails to secret waterfalls, it all gave me the taste for adventure I never outgrew. I've been going through the Grey Warden's history of griffins. Something isn't adding up. They're part of our order for centuries and then one day they aren't? There's a vague talk about blights taking their toll, how eggs weren't hatching, and their numbers dwindled. But they'd already survived earlier blights without trouble. And why would eggs stop hatching? Which means something happened, but I can't find any details. Did they get sick? Was there some sort of disease? More than a few records around that time are missing, and I can't find anything about how many eggs hatched, which I'm sure they were meticulous about. There's a missing piece in all this, and I need to track it down. I love this. I just love this. I love the journals. I feel like we're getting to know our peeps so much better. I love it. Oh my gosh, I have a new missive. <gasps> Update on Gus. Oh my gosh. Dear Rook, thank you again for figuring out what happened to Tenor and Oris. Gus is adjusting to life without him, I think. Eating well, and me and the other Veil Jumpers play with him when we can. He still screams if I try to remove Oro's old backpack from his hutch. You ever heard a Nug scream? It's bone chilling. Things have been terrible lately, but having Gus around helps me get through it. He really does put a smile on everyone's face. Thank you again for bringing him home. Regards, Sloane. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> It's like the email terminal in Mass Effect. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, let's do another passive ability. Character. What do I got? What do I got? Um, I got a new staff. Okay, what's this one look like? Oh gosh, it's like the old kind that I hated before. Ugh, yikes. Okay, and map. I think it's time to go back. It's time to go back to the lighthouse because honestly... Before I get into any more world exploring, because I definitely want to do more world exploring, I want to finalize our crew. Like, I, I am serious. I really want to pick up the last crew members. So I am dying to get into this. But let me just see if uh, he has a conversation. Nev. Oh, okay. No, he doesn't. So that's post. But let me walk by them just in case, and then we'll start the next missions. It's been a while since I was into Vinter, but I remember you. I was chasing a rageling, and you were after a... the Valdorma job. <laughs> Is that what you call it? I call it a mess. Then joining this team, it'll be just like old times. Oh wow. Nev, we're not that sloppy, are we? Jeez. And the I keep getting the notification the caretaker is like, dude, upgrade your damn equipment. <laughs> but I just don't know, like... The fires are lit. Oh, enchant. I see. Okay. This is confusing to me. I feel like I need to spend some time doing this off camera because honestly, I just don't want to mess it up. And yeah. Okay, so I've upgraded everything. That's good. And I've picked, I believe, their best outfits for sure the outfits are the best like in this in the, as str the strongest but i actually just realized i didn't really do that part uh the weapons but you know what i think i did earlier so but you know what i'm also thinking i'm thinking it's time for a change you know we're in the same clothes for a while now let's give it a little change you look fabulous like oh my gosh like who are you queen ever queen 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 Okay, and I think I might actually have you rock that with this. Uh, oh, no, it's rusty at the top. It's 
not gonna work, is it? Does that work? I guess that kind of works. Or does it just look better with this? Uh, no, actually, I actually do prefer it with this. Yeah. No, I don't. No, I don't. I really wish it worked with this, but... It's a little rusty at the top. You know what, though? It's okay. It's okay. I want something different for her. So we'll use this. We'll use this. She looks fantastic. Now you, my friend... You... I think I'm going to save that for like the end game. So yeah, you can use that for now. And I think your weapons go really well with that. So I, oh, actually, you know, I kind of want to change your sword up. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to change your short, so, sword, sword, sword. That is the one we'll use. We'll keep that. Harding, I've already tried all of her other outfits and they suck. So Harding, you're just gonna stay the same. I'm hoping that when I unlock your other outfits, you're gonna look way better. Davin we just got, so he obviously doesn't have anything else. And I think Valera as well doesn't have much. Valera, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, girl? Jeez. I have to obviously find these things and I have not been looking closely enough. So I have a few outfits that I really like. This was worn by that Venatori though, that was a douche nozzle, so I don't really want to wear this because he tainted it, but I actually would wear this if it wasn't for him. Actually, you know what? I might wear that. <laughs> I kind of feel like being a little bit fancy. I love this. This is amazing, but I feel like it looks a little bit too much like Lucanus. And I don't want to be a carbon copy, you know, like I want to be an original. I could do this because this is awesome. I mean, this, this guy, though, has like, look how many outfits we have. Like, we, eventually we're going to like have so much fun with this. It's funny because in Harry Potter or sorry, in Hogwarts Legacy, I actually did change my outfits all the time because of this particular feature. And I had so much fun with it. I had so much freaking fun. OK, I think I'm going to go with this. It's weird. You know what, though? I feel like Nev's influence. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're like, we're gonna, we're gonna be a little bit blue for a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, that's good for me. Um, I feel like this next part, we're gonna be a little bit fancy. No, I don't like the red. It's clashing. That is not bad. It's not bad. What about this one? This is the original. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with this one. Yeah, that looks the best. Ugh, our guy looks so hot. Just say it, dude. Like, can you stop? Like, you're just so cute. Okay. Um. Nah, I think for the base, I'll keep it the same for now. But eventually, I will change it. And what is it? Yeah, eventually I will change it. I don't want to walk around with a cape. It just seemed... Oh, shoot. No, hold on. Yeah, discard. Discard that. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Love it. All right. So we have our new look. So obviously we're taking Nev wherever the hell we're going. Because we are, like, going to be twinsies. <laughs> oh, man. So cute. Okay. So we have to go talk to this girl. And this girl. Okay, so let's go talk to Bolera first. I think that that's the right thing to do. Oh, yep, that's a great way to do it. Okay, Bolera. Okay, Bolera, what's your lead on getting us a uh, fade expert for the team? Good evening. Greetings. Rook, so we need a fade expert. I've been writing to a senior mage who fits the part. But right now, he's on an expedition, so I reached out to his colleagues to find him. This is Lady Myrna and Vorgoth. They're necromancers. Mornwatch ones, I mean. Your friend's request for a Fade Expert was urgent. How dark some are things outside Navarra? We've seen terrible magic. Old magic. It'll get worse unless we step up. I see. Bellara's correspondent is Professor Emric Volkarin, a fade expert and powerful psychagogue. You will need him. Where can I find him? The Professor is currently delving the shrouded halls in the Grand Necropolis. 
We will grant you passage to look for him. Where the dead. Lately they grow restless. So cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Where the dead must go. Okay, so now let's go talk to Harding. Oh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Oh my god. We gotta do that one next. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I can't wait to get these crew members. <laughs> so excited. So I put the word out for dragon hunters, and I've heard back about someone who might work. It's a woman named Tosh from a group of Ravani treasure hunters called the Lords of Fortune. Sounds promising. An agent for the Lords said that Tosh is working on a mission for them along the Ravane coast. If we help her, she'll be free to join us and fight any blighted dragons the gods throw our way. What do you know about what's going on in Ravane right now? Not much more than you do. Varric and I never went there while hunting Solas. The Kunari were on pretty good terms with Ravane, but that was before the Antam military broke away from the rest of the Kuhn. I wouldn't be surprised if the Antom invaded Ravane like they did Treviso and Eastern Tevinter. All right, guess we'll be ready. Thanks for finding a contact. There can't be that many professional dragon hunters around. Time to find out if the crossroads can get us to an alluvian in that area. We'll head out whenever you're ready. <laughs> so excited! Let's do it. Let's go to the journal. Okay, so I think I want to do... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I want to do the Necromancer first. Yeah. Oh, but that... Maybe I shouldn't do the Necromancer first. Because that one sounds so cool. Maybe I should do the Dragon Slayer first. No, I want to do the Necromancer first. <laughs> this is just so... I, it's just so cool. Uh, and no one needs to talk to me, right? Okay, good, good, good. And library. Do we have another codex or something? Oh, no, we don't. Just the world of Theta's codexes. We'll get to that later. Oh, look at him. And where is our particular quest taking us? Is it, is it, is it to, uh, <gasps> Navara? <gasps> Bravain. These are new places we haven't been. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is Ravain blighted? Oh, no, no, it's not. Okay, that's just Treviso extending a little bit into Arlathan. Why? Why? That's not good. Okay, anyway, so I can only take one. I feel like I... Oh, that sucks because I just got dressed up for Nev. But Bellara is the one that did this. You know, she's the one that asked around. I feel like it's right that she be there. So I'm going to take her. <laughs> yeah, but I really want to take Nev. Oh, damn it. We would have been matching. It would have been so cute. <laughs> so ridiculous. Um. I don't know. Okay, you know what? Maybe I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. Let's go to the other mission. <laughs> and. Yeah, so let's let's do the map. Oh yeah, let's do this one. Let's do this one first. Let's do the Ravane one first. I still have to think about what I want to do. And I feel like now I have to go back and change my entire outfit because <laughs> this is this is what I do. This is what I freaking do. I just usually cut it out, but I, since it's like the first time you're seeing it, I'll probably leave it in. But this is what I do. I, I spend hours figuring out how I want to dress. Call it The Sims 4 rubbing off into all of the other games. But uh, yeah, I feel like Ravine is going to be... This is this is not appropriate. No, no, no. We cannot wear this to Ravine. I think that Ravine is definitely like, you know, a warmer coast. So, you know, I, I think I'm just going to stick with what I've already had on the whole time, which is so annoying because I wanted to try something different. Um, yeah, Z yeah, I'm not going to wear that. I'm just not going to wear that. that. That stupid Venatori wore it, and now I hate that outfit, which sucks because I freaking love that outfit. Okay, we'll go back to what we had before. I'm sorry, Nev. But uh, next time we have a, 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 a mission in... Tevinter, or wait... Minrathis. Next time we have a, a mission in Minrathis, we will do the whole double date dressy uppy thingy, I promise. 
But yeah, unfortunately, that's not gonna happen this time. Okay, so we're vain. <laughs> so I have to like go to the crossroads, I'm assuming, because I've never been there before, right? So I can't fast travel there. Um, yeah, hold on. Let's see. Can I? I can't, right? Oh, wait, I can, shut up. I can travel there immediately. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take Davrin. I know technically Harding is the one that, um, <clears throat> you know, again, I'm trying to figure out if I like this guy. I got to take him. Um, and also we just recruited Davrin with Harding. So I feel like it's okay. Yes, let's do that.